The football season league has just um, ended. League season has just ended around the world and most footballers are looking to move to new clubs or improve on their existing contracts. Even with some free time, most Nigerian and African players are given reasons why they can't play friendlies and other matches for their countries. Wale well, Scott, thanks for joining us this morning. Mm -hmm. What could be the reason for this? Um, <clears throat> it's not official really, but um, people are concluding that um, African players, Nigerian players especially, tend to attach too much importance to their clubs and leaving their countries out of it. And um, we think it's really wrong because um, I'll use um, N'Golo Kante, for example, who plays for Chelsea. After they won the Champions League, he was asked, um, Kante, what next? He said he's very happy that he's won the league, but duty calls, the country calls, he's going to France to go and play for the Euros, you know? And you, you, can, you, you can remember with um, a lot of disgust when Mikel Obi will tell us he's injured for a national match with the Super Eagles, and then Tuesday he's injured, he can't play the match, and then he plays 90 minutes for Chelsea on Saturday of that same week. So, you know, um, most people just feel like um, there's this attitude of, I'm not going to die for country, I'm not going to die on the field of play um, when it comes to the country. But when it comes to money and their clubs, they are willing to actually spill blood if they have to. I would think they, it's, it's really wrong. When it comes to your country, you don't take a country to seriously. But why? I don't, but I mean, um, so, so let's also look at, you know, where some of these reasons will come from. Is it because mm -hmm. they love their clubs more than they love their countries? Is it maybe also because their countries have not been able to make playing for home um, uh, something of uh, something of joy yes. every other day we hear about athletes who um, you know get a, a chain nationality and run for Portugal run for Netherlands run for for France for Australia because at home they know that you know if, if they continued with or they, if they stuck you know with the training facilities at home or with the sporting you know space at home yeah they wouldn't have made it I'll use home. my country Nigeria which is my country so for as an example um, the welfare is terrible. We don't take care of our players. Um, we know a particular player who got injured I mean, in a car crash in Ikeja, and um, the NFF promised to help him out. Um, he's a very good friend. He's on a show most of the time. And then eventually they came after like a few months and said, listen, guy, you are actually not on official duty when you had the accident. Go take care of yourself. And that's where Nigerian players have their, their cases too. And they say, listen, you don't take care of us. We know for one that General Raw, for example, is being owed like 12 months salary right now. So how do you, where, where's the encouragement to actually want to die if you have to on the field of play for a country that doesn't pay your, your allowances regularly, will not take care of you medically and all that? Yes. So they have their cases too when they say, I'm not going to take it too seriously, you know. But um, it's very obvious when it comes to Nigeria. The, the guys tell you straight to your face, I can't make it now. I have a, a meeting with my, my club um, coaches um, next tomorrow. It's about my job, my, my contract, existing contract. You guys should leave me alone for now, you know. There are ways you can go about it without actually being... All these other countries... Well, you just said, you know, Mikel Obi, you know, uh, claimed to be injured um, you know, instead of... Yeah, we have boys. seen cases where Mikel was a match in Nigeria for like maybe on a Tuesday. A super goes against somebody and then... The message is sent that the medical crew of Chelsea will say Mikel is injured, he can't play, and then the Saturday of that week. Is so, so where do you minutes. think where do you think the, the fixing needs to come from? Um, should it come from the players and the type of excuses they give? Should they modify their excuses and not make it disrespectful, or should the Nigerian uh, Sports Federation um, be, of course, be able to fix itself? They should work make, on their they should work on their structures. Um, yes, if you take care of these guys and their welfare is fantastic, of course they will come home all the time. Even if you don't ask, they will come. Mm -hmm. I've noticed something ironically. The only guys who put so much zeal, so much passion into coming for Nigeria's call-ups or into the game when they're playing are the ones who actually grew up abroad. The ones who actually were groomed there. The ones who actually played here before going abroad don't have that zeal. But the ones who actually put the passion and zeal into it, the ones who actually grew up abroad, had to nationalize. So how do we become, explain that? Well, it's simple. Um, they actually don't depend on our welfare here. Don't, they don't think that, um, they think it's, it's a favor being able to actually play for their country. That's the attitude they bring into it when okay. they come to for for goals. But the ones who actually grow up here are like, mm, I, beg, I, can't, I can't kill myself. I've gone out, out there to go and make money. If they injure me here now, mm -hmm. it will stop my payment there Which and all that. So, you know, that's the attitude. I agree Every with week we are begging But, but like you've rightly and said, and like you've rightly said, Mr. Rogi, um, maybe they should modify these excuses. Don't make it look like it's in our faces, you know? I'm not coming, I'm not coming like that, you know? I think that's just a problem I have. Maybe the sports really. ministry also should do better. Yes, I um, agree with that. In every single way. Yeah, welfare, the structure should be built 
You um, can imagine how do you get the best of a coach that has been owed 12 months salary. There's a, mm -hmm. there's a couple of days ago that we saw a campaign. Oh, that was a different one. There's a, a man who was, he's an Olympian. He went to the Olympics for Nigeria. Uh, probably won, you know, bronze or silver medal in the 80s, I believe. He's in Portaka today, parking uh, Clarin Road. You know, these guys that you see on the road with your shovel that, you know, are not government officials, I think but it, just assisting with, you know, fixing the roads in Portaka. Well, in that, my, in that's my, how his story has ended. In up. my former office, um, I used to get new, complimentary newspapers, and I used to take it to a former Nigerian footballer who also coached the under 17 team. And he was being owed lots of money in Abuja. His wife was going to and fro to Abuja to try and get the money. He never got the money. I mean, he had one leg amputated initially. And then eventually he affected the second leg. The second leg was amputated. And the pain killed him. And he practically died in my house. And um, he's still being owed those, those, those money still now. Yeah. So you see, I, I actually ha see their case to when they say, I won't come and die for Nigeria. Because they, they do have a case too. You know, the, the, the Nigerian... Must, must work on their welfare, too. not only in Nigeria, in Africa. Look, you can look at, but ask, ask myself, Nigerians too, some of them tend to be self-centered when it comes to Nigeria. I have not seen any outstanding Nigerian footballer who has once looking. I'm not looking at you, you guys, I'm not looking at the way you're treating us. I'm, I'll do my thing for Nigeria. The Cameroonian football federation is worse than we are when it comes to payments of funds. But Samuel Etofis comes out of nowhere I said, okay, good. Leave their welfare, you know. I'll pay you guys. We've seen that happen. In yeah, Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, I've heard, of, Nigeria. I've heard of, um, of uh, a particular player footing hotel bills and stuff for the players while they were stranded yeah, somewhere. Yeah, at points they were stranded in, mm -hmm. in, 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 um, in, in the U.S. And I think Mikel Obi stood for them for two, three days until some Japanese guy comes from nowhere to... Yes. But at what point but, does this get too embarrassing for the Nigerian government or for our sports um, ministry to begin to do something about it? I can assure you we've been embarrassed too many times. There's been, a, a, there's been a game with a female team, um, our female number 17, went um, to Burkina Faso to play a game and their kids didn't come. So they had to cut their track suits to shorts to play their games. And we have never asked oh, the, oh, the other one when the bus sports, so they had to go by via boat. Yes, and right. then other things that happen, like if they get there and then the players are already there and then a few hours to the game, our jerseys arrive. Wow. You can't blame you, you can't blame the moral of the story is you can't blame the players. Yes, you know everyone you would always players, push but, push, uh, you know, a, push a person to be patriotic. But sometimes but, uh, Patriot seems should come to play. Yeah, it, it's not all it's not all rosy in other countries too, really. Mm -hmm. Yes, it may not be as bad as this, but it's not all rosy, but Patriot seems should come to play. We've seen players like Didier Drogba overlook the Ivorian um, football federation and do things on its own and buy them wristwatches, they do well, platinum wristwatches, um, pay for their 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 their, 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 their flight tickets. President of Liberia now, Dr. Pongwe, did more for Liberia, you know. They didn't have, the Federation was even cash trapped, they didn't have money then. They would pay their airfare, pay their hotel, you know. All right, we so need to go. It just seems to come to play sometimes. Yes, really. and I think welfare of players should be, you know, a systemic thing, not based on the philanthropy of some other players. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's what? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> Thank you, for your Thank analysis. You. And this is where we wrap up uh, on a Friday morning. Thank you very much for staying with us uh, all through the week. Uh, go out, of course, and have a very, very blissful weekend. If you missed out on any of these conversations, you know where to find it at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our YouTube channel. I am Osaogi Ogbon. And I'm Annette Felix saying bye bye.